What's up, YouTube? This Rose go back again with another video, and I check it out. Now, Glorilla Pimp, you know, Glitter Gloss Up, you know, Gloss Up just got signed, quality music group, and uh, something like that. And uh, then you got Gorilla Pimp. Glorilla Pimp uh, with CMG. Now, some people are saying, and these are just opinions from multiple channels I've watched or just opinions in general that I've heard. And people are feeling like, you know, well, first of all, before I go any further, somebody in my comments had wrote, they are best friends. Glorilla and, and, and Gloss Up are best friends. Now, whether that's true or not, people, I don't know for real. But I, uh, I can say this. Being that they're both from Memphis and they're both rappers, it's, it's hard to not say they don't know of each other at least. So if they are friends, that's what's up. They both, you know, dreams came true and everything. But people are feeling like, you know, just the opinions of people are feeling like that these two are going to clash in the future. They're gonna be going back at it at one another. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that could possibly be true. It could be it could be for a publicity stunt, you know what I'm saying, to make more money to get more attention towards their ways. Or it could be that they might just fall out because of that money. You know what I'm saying? Now, it can be argued about who you who do you think got the better deal? Did Glorilla get the better deal signing with CMG or did Glitter Gloss Up get a better deal with the team she's with. You know what I'm saying? So, and I believe it's Quality Control Music Group or something like that. Um, so if that's the case, you know, as far as my opinion about that, guys, I'm going to tell you straight up. I feel like Glitter Gloss Up got the better deal. And that's as far as for future references. For future references, I, I, I feel like she got the better deal. But they both got good deals, if you want to look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? They dream came true with the woo. They doing their thing, right? They traveling. They getting perks. They they understanding and learning more of the game. You know what I'm saying? You would think. And it's like, now, what hasn't came out is how much did Glitter Gloss Up get when she signed? Because we already know it's out there about the $500,000 that Glorilla got. You see what I'm saying? So, in my opinion, again, about that people, I feel like Glitter might have got more. I'm kind of pushing, I'm kind of leaning towards that, that she might have got more. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be the same amount. Um, But all in all, I feel like Glitter Gloss Up got a better deal. I ain't even going to front. I feel like she went to a better group, Um, you know. As far as CMG and what they just have and what they got going on under this damn umbrella. Under their umbrella, it's, it's storming. You know what I'm saying? It's storming under that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They trying to keep from getting hit by lightning and shit. So, that's... I can see how people say, yeah, she's in a, she shouldn't have went to them. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. But at the same time... One thing you can't say is they ain't getting money. They getting money. Now, Russell Simmons, about a week ago when everybody found out that Glorilla had got signed, Russell Simmons comes out and he's telling people, he's talking straight to Glorilla, you know, make sure you manage your money well. So that $500,000 got people thinking. They like $500,000, you know what I'm saying? But when that came out, uh, people were saying that Money Bag Yo got signed for $250,000. But, but I can understand uh, why people are saying that. But you got to understand this, too. When they gave her that $500,000, they probably bought her a car after that. They probably bought her, you know, you never know. They might have could have got her a house or something. You know what I'm saying? So they do other things other than just giving you that money. You know what I'm saying? Because they know you're going to want a car. So so that factors in with what you really worth. So if they if they gonna give you five hundred thousand and then they gonna go out and buy you a six figure car and shit, I would have rather had all that money to myself and made my choice on what I wanted to drive 
and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't be sneaky and ask me what's my dream car, and then next thing you know, oh, yeah, we're going to get up one of them, too. You know what I'm saying? Don't do all that shit. Don't do all that shit, man. But see, the game is slick, and the game is to be sold, not told. So if you don't know, if you're not educated, yes, these things will happen to you. Yes, you would think you're on top of the world, but at the same time, they are laughing in the background. People, they are laughing in the background, people, because they know they should, that they owe you way more than that. But now you're going to owe them way more than that. You know what I'm saying? So, make a long story short, people. These females are supposed to be friends. I hope it continues to be friends if they are friends. Now, they are on multiple songs with each other. I, I, I ran across three. Yeah. Glitter Gloss Up and your girl Glorilla. They are on songs together. And let me tell you, they are nice songs. And it's other females that... uh that are on those songs, you know what I'm saying, and they ripping it, so I, so shout out to all the females, you know what I'm saying, that's what's up, um, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear about more females, you know what I'm saying, from Memphis and whatnot, getting signed, because it's some more heat out there, you feel me, it's some more heat out there, so, uh, that's what's up, so anyway, um, that's, that's why I came on here, because people were trying to dissect that. Like, are they friends? Who got the better deal? Who's going to, you know, shine brighter? You know what I'm saying? All of that is just is yet to be known and yet to be seen. Who's going to shine brighter and this and that and this and that. But before I end this video, I will tell I will keep it real on their personas. And they are on... One thing about... A good thing about this is they're both Glorilla and gloss up are two different type of styles and i and i like that they two different types of styles so and, and in my opinion people just my opinion i feel like glorilla is more thug if you know you know you know what i'm saying she more thug all right now and i'm not saying that uh glitter gloss up is not gangster she ain't got a gangster in her she ain't got a hood and thug in her i'm just saying from what i see and from hearing from their flows and videos and stuff i just feel like glorilla got more thug in her than you know glitter gloss up but don't be sleep on glitter gloss up because glitter gloss up she has it as well it's either you got it or you don't and she has it you know what i'm saying she got the style she got the swag she got the the demeanor she got the flows you know what i'm saying so and she's hungry. They're both hungry. So they're going to be out here giving us a show. All right. That's what that's about. So, um, but that's all I could take from that people is Glorilla Pimp. She's more thug. And, uh, you know, I think that that kinds of, uh, that's what separates them in my eyes. That's what separates them. And it seems like that even though Glorilla is signed to CMG, at this point in time, it seems like she fits right in with CMG. She fits right in there. You see what I'm saying? All right. And Glitter Gloss Up, see, she fits in where she went to because she got, uh, you know, the city girls over there and whatnot. And so she has a different variety. She has a different variety. That's another plus on her end. She has a variety. She got pop over there. She got rap. She got, you know, R&B. She got a little bit of everything over there. Now, as far as CMG, they just got that one, that one road. That one road. That that one, that one era. You know what I'm saying? And so, that, mm, you know what I mean? So, and it's another female on CMG, but I don't never hear nothing about her. Like, I feel like, I was thinking about that too. I was like, before Go really came, old girl from... The, it's another female CMG artist. She should have dropped a whole album before she even came over. That's just how I feel. Because she might be... T or they could... Both of the females could make a CD together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But... Nevertheless... Now, when I talk about CMG and that artist, the female artist... That's one thing. And in my eyes, that's separate from... Yo, got his ass. Alright? Now... I'm, I'm saying stuff to benefit them, not to benefit his ass. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, Glorilla Pimp, she wakes up one day and say, hey, my contract's up, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Fucking gone. You know what I'm saying? There's too much drama over here. And, she, and like I said before, sometimes you have to live and you learn. Now, she could be the type of person, I don't know for sure, people allegedly, she might like that type of lifestyle where it's always some drama. You know what I'm saying? Everybody haters, but they love us. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. She might like that type shit. It might not phase her. You see what I'm saying? With the hell going on with Dolph and shit like that. 
that shit might not phase her. All right? So, with that being said, people, what do you guys think about these two young ladies and them being friends? And, and, and you already know, though, when, when that money get in the way, that's when, that's when people start parting ways, people. That money is something else, all right? That money is something else. So, hopefully, it don't go for shot for shot with them. You know what I'm saying? If it does, then may the best female win. Message.